YouTube team Mackie and Amanda have a haunted doll, and they believe an evil spirit is possessing it. The interpreter receives a message from the doll. He thinks you're very soft and sweet. Mackie hears a voice while they continue their communications. Yes, confirm. <laughs> is Alan just hear that? Is it like a guy who went, he said something like, Durr. Yes, confirm. <laughs> yes, confirm. They hear a noise and a whisper. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. yeah I did. Are the new ones here tonight? Yeah. And while they're talking, another whisper is heard. Oh, she loves that. Oh, it's got like a little like. Oh, she loves that. Oh, it's got like a little like. The spirit then starts communicating via REM pod. The camera just turned oh, my off, and then immediately that. Oh, we're going to town now. Somebody turned the camera off, and now the REM pod's going crazy. And it continues with the cat ball. The cat ball just turned on. And we had asked Katie. Katie said she wouldn't, but that's not her doll. Yeah, that's yeah. the older mm -hmm. woman's doll. Mm -hmm. Emma. Although I didn't see any evil in this spirit, that doesn't mean it isn't there. But it definitely seems to me that there's something paranormal afoot here. You might consider calling the cops on the intruder trespassing on your property at night. But when it turns out to be this woman, maybe you should call a ghost hunter instead. Posted to Twitter by Daniela Guerro, she writes in Spanish, Okay, my parents have a security company. And how about the officials of a condominium have just passed them a heavy video of what happened last night. The video shows a large yard with a small pool. In the distance, a woman dressed in white crosses the property. She has dark hair and moves steadily forward until she's closer to the camera. She strides across, clearly on a mission, and that mission is to evaporate in plain sight. The phantom trespasser disappears into the night as she rounds a corner. What does she want here, and where did she go? All questions and no answers. Perhaps that's what we're supposed to have. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by a sleep ad 8673. This redditor wrote, Rando Nautica at its finest. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Oh, it smells horrible. Oh, yeah. It's in the middle of the woods. So the keys have to be in the Yeah. Yeah. The lights came on. It appears this Redditor stumbled upon a creepy abandoned car in the middle of nowhere with the help of Randonautica. In the comments, Chi Jojo said, This is like the third Randonautica video I've seen of cars being abandoned in the middle of the woods. One had a child's voice coming out of nowhere saying, Do you want to play? Strange indeed. To which the Redditor who found this car replied, I'm so glad there's no audible EVPs asking me if I want to play, especially a child voice. For some reason, that's even creepier. Somebody on Reddit helped me get the VIN number and ran it. Came back with an alert for a reported stolen vehicle. So it appears this abandoned car was stolen. Now the question on my mind is, who took the car and left it here? When Reactor 4 burst at Chernobyl in 1986, a 10 kilometer exclusion zone was formed and thereafter was increased to 30 kilometers. The initial steam blast resulted in two passed away, while a further 28 passed within months of exposure. These numbers do not even touch upon the total passing toll caused by radiation, and they also don't touch upon the mutations in humans or animals in the area. Which brings us to this footage published in March of 2014. The uploader states that the video is filmed at Chernobyl Power Plant. A close-up of an animal in the area appears to show a headless form on four legs running across the railroad tracks. It almost looks like a headless deer. Some in the comments say that it looks like a large deer with the face of a rabbit or a moose with a twisted neck, and still others say the creature appears as though its neck is deformed and bending towards the opposite side. Mutant or not, 
kind of makes you wonder what other nightmare creatures are lurking in the area. Would you complete a ritual to summon a demon? YouTube team proving demons would. They head to the ghost church, where a demon is reputed to be, and they find that this place is more than unholy. On the way down there, they encounter a large lake with houses drowning below. I read up that there was 13 houses that were part of this original village. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. And they're sunken under this. Mm -hmm. They circle the church three times. As the legend goes, the demon will appear. Here we come. Third time's the charm. Let's see if he, uh... Makes his presence known tonight. Not long after, they hear what sounds like a child's voice. Yeah, I heard that. Communicating through a spirit box, they ask what the spirit is. You a demon. If you're a demon, say the word demon. What? Did it just say it? So I, I'm a demon? Using a connect app, they see a figure in the graveyard. Oh. It's picking up on oh, the grave, I think. The grave, yeah, yeah. I think. It's not picking up on the other graves, though. No. It's not. Do you want to see who's on that grave? They speak with it again through the spirit box. No. What did I say? I didn't I, hear that. I want you to join. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, 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 no. After that, they nope right out of there. This last message from the beyond makes me sure that this isn't just a spirit, it's a demon. Captured at Hillview Manor in Newcastle, these paranormal explorers face their fears. Published by SCWC in October of 2019, the uploader calls this the scariest moment of their entire life. Although the video has no sound, the YouTuber says footsteps charged at them from down the hallway. The video shows their terrified reaction as they all look toward it. One of them even dives out of the way as the invisible spirit charges toward them. Noting that the footsteps ran between all of them, the uploader writes, The walls and floor shook with every footstep this spirit took while running. While you don't see anything run past, this group's synced reaction seems more than genuine. What was in the hill house with them? Have you ever had a stalker? YouTuber Kev from Crypto NWO has, and his stalker just took it to the next level by sending him a thumb drive. There are some strange pics on it and some video files. Let's take a look. Security footage captures the stalker peering into the YouTuber's home. Kev is setting up a camera inside. A second piece of security footage captures the stalker approaching the house and ringing the doorbell. Dude is already gone. He uh, Look where he runs. I didn't check the way he ran, but I looked at the footage afterwards. So, knocked on my door. Knocking on my door right now. I, there's no, I, by the way, I haven't seen any videos or anything. Okay, he recorded my door, he ran off. He hears a knock at the door. Here, my door's gonna open, there, boom, I open my door. Nobody's at my door and I'm like, what the I, I'm tripping out right now, I'm actually thinking, is this, like, are these kids doing this or is this like the entire stalker situation? And then he heads outside to check it out. I don't know why my camera didn't catch me walking out the front door. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm literally, I can't see. I'm looking down my street towards the left of my street. I'm looking to the right of my street now. I'm pulling out my phone. Kev is then seen looking for the perp down the street. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm tripping out right now. I'm looking down my street. I saw somebody walking, but they had their dog with them. And it was like a teenager, so I'm thinking maybe it's that person. But at the same time, I'm tripping the right now because this person cut. After Kev re-enters his home, a car is seen in the distance driving in the other direction. The cameras are glitching like crazy. Open the door. I close it. Cars driving this way. What is the stalker? A second video captures what appears to be the same guy doing this again. Another one here. But dude, coming up to my camera, there was a flashlight on his phone. 
I hope he's not recording a video. What, run sprints this time. This time he didn't even hold back. Ran same place, same direction. Didn't even hold back. Kev heads outside again to look around. Two, one, now. I have a baseball bat in my hand. I'm tripping out. I'm actually tripping out. I'm trying to act tough here, but I'm actually shaking. I'm really, really scared. It's actually relatively cold this time of the year. Of course, he finds no one. What do you think this stalker is trying to achieve by this? Knocking on his door again and again. I think he is trying to build up Kevin's fear, a fear of the unknown, and it seems like he's succeeding. This intruder can walk through walls. Posted to the r slash ghost video subreddit. A scary figure was captured on redditor ale oops friends surveillance feed at around 1 in the morning. The video shows a dark and empty yard. At first, nothing appears unusual, but watch the back doorway. About 30 seconds in, a pale figure can be seen walking from left to right. You can see it outlined in the dark doorway, but if you look closely, it actually shows up seconds before, appearing semi-transparent as it walks past the exterior wall and turns into the doorway, disappearing inside the house. Will some in the comments think a genuine spirit has been captured? Others suggest it's a combination of a prowler and a distortion from the cheap night vision camera. Honestly though, either is terrifying. When Hurricane Sandy rolled into town, most fled, but one live streamer did not. Published in November of 2014, he writes, during Hurricane Sandy, someone decided that it was a great idea to film the entire event regardless of the risk. I recorded the stream on an old laptop and forgot about it. Found the footage today and decided to share it. Hurricane Sandy was dubbed the most destructive hurricane of the 2012 Atlantic hurricane season, having taken the lives of 285 people. It's plain to see why. As this footage shows, this storm slowly got more and more severe. Number 4. Dread YouTuber Christian Ronansky published this found footage in December of 2015 with the following description. These are movies that we found in 10 rather large boxes at an estate sale for 5 bucks a box. Being held in a barn about 15 miles west of Austin, Texas, Christian claims. According to Christian, those running the estate sale were unaware what the videos were or that they were even there and priced them then and there. With formats ranging from Betamax to 35mm stock reels, Christian notes that the same people pop up in all the films, many of which are too damaged to clean up. Christian promised to upload more tapes as they were repaired, but wanted to know what the wider YouTube audience thought of this one. The footage is vaguely disturbing. First, a shadowy figure is seen passing in the light with some sort of symbol on the wall behind it, while a powerfully disturbing sound plays. Then another figure is hidden behind curtains while a children's song is heard. An old clawed hand creeps its way around the curtain. A scene later and you're in the woods, while another dark figure dons a mask. And next you're seeing a load of medical contraptions, a sink drain in the lower half of a face up close, while warp sounds tear your eardrums in half. Then another figure with a large nose, first standing still then moving slowly across a room, then a young girl spinning and playing in a field, and lastly an eye up close looking all around. What does this lost tape mean? Do you think it was actually discovered in an estate sale? If so, there's certainly more to this story than we know as of now. A man claims that he keeps experiencing paranormal activity in his dining room and nowhere else. He feels unsafe and decides to leave a camera running in the dining room to see what goes on when he's not around. Nothing happens for a while, but then something comes along in the window that looks questionable. This is the zoomed in version. A tiny face appears to peek out at them from the glass panel on the bottom right before darting out of sight. 
You can't really make out any of its features, but notice how some orbs float by shortly before this happens. It's hard to tell if it's a paranormal creature or just a small animal, but I wouldn't want to be left alone in the house to find out. What would you do if you lived in a haunted house? YouTuber Charles Larita and The Mischief decided to film it. He posted this video in June of 2011, writing, My house is seriously haunted, and I'm still freaked out about this. In the video, he claims he always hears noises coming from his room, even when there's no one there. And while he's in his room, he feels a strange presence. After setting up a camera at night with the lights on, he discovered something strange around two hours into the footage. Here's what he found. The video shows a shot of the room, somewhat unfocused with a chest of drawers, a black guitar case leaning up against it, and a door. After a moment, the light on the chest of the drawers starts to shake back and forth slightly. Something falls off the top of the chest, and then the door to the left swings close with exactly no one in sight. Many in the comments are freaked out by this bizarre clip with BTS Nelly Thickums writing, Move out of that house. Others agree they would have hightailed it out of that place. What would you do if this was your home? Have you ever seen something that actually wasn't there? What if you found out later that what you were seeing was real? Published by Wawa in January of 2022, she says she got home, had partaken in some herbs, and later that night took these videos. This is what she captured. In one video, a shadow peers out from behind a door in the hallway. It looks like a face peeking around from the upper corner. She writes that she was snapping videos to her friends and eventually looked up and caught this head from behind a door in her closet. Thinking she was just tripping, she filmed two more videos. When she watched the videos back in the morning, sober, she was even more disturbed by what she captured. The clearer video truly does look like a head peeking out from the doorway, but several photos show there's nothing there or behind the door that would cast that shadow or poke out in any way. Obviously, this was not a hallucination, but what could it be? These tourists left with a souvenir they didn't want published by Mystic House slash Horror Stories. This scary video was reportedly captured at a popular tourist attraction in Indonesia. Amongst the brambles on a jungle path, a creepy creature is spotted peering out from behind a stone. The humanoid-looking creature's head is adorned with strange ram-like horns. Its skin is a dull gray, its eyes heavily shadowed. Is this just a local having fun with the tourists? Or is this evidence of an unknown species lurking in the wilderness? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the Redditor writes that this is the most terrified he's ever been. The scary footage shows an attic of an abandoned house under night vision. At the beginning of the clip, Connor hears a strange noise. He looks around a little and, from upstairs, captures something in the window on the ground floor. It's glowing. He decides to go investigate. Down at the window in question, there's absolutely nothing there. Nobody, no light. Next, he uses a spirit box to speak with whomever is in the home. Someone asks him to help and let him out. Another voice says to please leave. Admitting this gave him chills, Connor says this is probably probably the last time he'll return here. As he's walking into an adjacent room, a board is flung at him. He stops in his tracks and turns around to look around him. Nothing is there. In the comments, Connor explains, It was a rock or a brick that barely missed. It flew past the right side of my head. That's why I'm never going back there because I feel like I could have passed away. No kidding, there is something evil in this house and it wants you to leave. You'd best listen. YouTuber Ricky Velasquez captures this house being antisocial. Watch these china cabinet drawers. Here it is again, a little slower this time. The creepiest part of this footage is the shadow figure that moves towards the china cabinet. Keep your eyes peeled for it. Is
Is that one of the creepiest things you've ever seen? I think this is one of the most authentic shadow figures I've witnessed. What do you think? The spinning Elmo toy seems to be deviating from the usual Sesame Street script. Imagine being a small child and hearing this supernatural sounding voice suddenly scream at you. If anyone knows what this Elmo toy is supposed to be saying, then please let me know in the comments. Maybe we can compare what the original toy says to this video and determine if this is a possession or a technical malfunction. When you want to get away from it all and get back to nature, camping is an ideal way to self-isolate, but sometimes you're not alone. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by WillyComics64, the redditor writes, I found this guy near my campsite, and I don't know who he is or where he came from. The clip shows a man lurking in the trees near Willy's campsite. He appears and then just as quickly vanishes. While some in the comments don't find this all that odd, as hiking is part of camping, others think it's just a little weird that the stranger didn't introduce himself and just seemed to disappear in an instant. Willie explains in the comments that the situation freaked him out because no one was renting the site next to him and he didn't see this man at any other campsite or on the trail that loops around the campground. Redditor Laura Malia 649 writes, And this is why I fear people when I camp more than the wildlife around me. Others think that the man acted very suspiciously and hoped that the Redditor has something to protect himself with. Redditor FakerHoach10000 suggests that perhaps the man was growing deep in the woods and just came out to look after his plants. Willie can only hope that these assessments are right, because if this man is anything other than a hiker, a camper, or a grower, then who knows what his intentions are. Here's even more reason to not build your house too close to the ocean. Posted to Twitter by at Cape Hatteras NPS, an unoccupied house was captured on video collapsing into the sea off Rodenthay, North Carolina in early May of this year. The footage shows the two-story house on stilts standing precariously near the aggressive waves as the wind whips through. Then its front stilts give way, collapsing the house head first into the sea. It lands flat and is pulled out to sea for a moment by the tide, but the waves quickly push it back in. After a while, it comes to a standstill on the shore looking Sade and dilapidated. Reports say that this is the second unoccupied house to collapse on this day at Cape Hatteras. This is not a good day for those homeowners. A YouTuber named Grasshopper222 captures an outbreak of paranormal proportions in his house when he goes on a short vacation. A brand new security cam system meant to monitor his housekeeper instead records some of the scariest CCTV moments of his life that makes him come home sooner than normal. This creepy doll is the first of many objects caught moving by itself. Grasshopper222 thinks a ghost moves it, but I think someone could be hiding around the corner with a string, so I wouldn't exactly call this solid paranormal evidence. At two minutes, the doll appears to wave hello, so that's weird. Unless that's just where the string is tied, then it's fake. It's too bad he doesn't include video of the other room to show no one is there. Anyway, this barely noticeable glare is a reflection from where the television turns on, either by itself or with a remote control. A cushion is thrown off the couch and another object falls over by itself soon after, both of which could be on strings. But look again at how the water bottle moves, or more specifically how it lands. At 43 seconds, the falling object appears to catch on nothing, almost like a ghost pushed it over and caught it in midair. Meanwhile, in the other room... A ghost opens the door and slams it shut.
Then the ghost moves more objects, a cabinet, cup, red box, and other household objects all move on their own. But there's one big problem, something that just doesn't quite add up. The camera angle looks slightly different than before. So unless the housekeeper readjusted the camera, I think this amateur ghost video might not be real after all. Then again, with all of the other creepy stuff flying around, I guess the moving camera is also well within its capabilities. A YouTuber named Joe's Paranormal TV decides to explore a haunted forest in Michigan in the early morning hours. The first thing they notice is how all of the trees look unnatural, like nothing they've ever seen before. In fact, the deeper into the forest they go, the stranger things seem to get. What was that? A metallic clang draws their attention, followed by faint cries in the distance. You hear that? What the? Joe thinks he sees moving shadows and tries to reassure himself that he and his friend are alone in the wilderness. Still, his camera's batteries are draining fast despite being brand new, and now he feels like he's being watched. Joe's equipment starts to malfunction for a moment. It clears up just in time to catch this noise. It's creepy out here, man. It sounded like right up ahead of us here. It's the unmistakable sound of a baby crying. I think that they probably really did hear this, but let me know if you think it's real or edited. Anyway, they eventually find a clearing of slashed trees that have been rearranged into strange symbols. Maybe someone in the comments section can tell me if these are pagan symbols or not, and if so, what they mean and what they would be doing here. Eventually, Joe's terror becomes unmanageable, and he flees after he thinks he hears something close by. Strange voices continue to follow Joe and his friend as they make their way out. While crossing a bridge on a foggy night, this motorist witnessed a live vanishing act. Posted to TikTok, a biker is seen up ahead. The motorist looks right and then left while crossing the bridge. The biker is still in front of him, but he is getting more and more lost in the fog. And then suddenly, the biker disappears altogether, even as the fog clears up ahead. Where did he go? Wherever he went, humans were clearly not meant to see it. If you're out paddleboarding, watch your sea legs. Published in April of 2022, YBS Youngbloods writes, a humbling reminder for myself that it's their ocean and I'm just a visitor. The paddleboarder is at first enamored with a giant sea turtle. But soon that excitement turns to panic. A huge shark is seen making his way over and passes below the man's board. When the shark does this, the last place you'd want to be right now is in the water. While many in the comments are panicking, Commenter Jethro X has a different perspective. He writes, For anyone wondering, this is just how we have fun in Australia. Myrtle Sarosa is a popular model and actress from the Philippines who witnessed something unexplainable while on tour. In eastern Samar, she and her crew are navigating unlit back roads when they spot this small phantom like figure in the street. In Myrtle's words, the white blob caught by the dash cam does not match what they saw in person. She says what they saw looked more like a child who was around 10 years old with a pale face and a bluish white shirt. 
They wanted to double back and save the helpless child, but their tour guide said that this road is famous for child ghost sightings and that it was best to get out of there quickly. I guess this could all be just a publicity stunt, but since Eastern Samar once had a bad typhoon that claimed the lives of many children, I think that she is probably telling the truth. If insects aren't your thing, then this entry will highly test your bravery. This footage is of an insect swarm at the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. The uploader writes, During our family holiday in 1996 or 7, we had parked the car and gone for a short walk up the cliffs. When we came back, we found that our car had become a hot spot for these giant wood lice, sea slaters. The clip shows piles upon piles of wood lice crawling around the car tires, an absolutely terrifying sea of insects, all coalescing beneath the vehicle. As the uploader says, probably attracted to its cozy comfiness. After seeing this, would you be brave enough to climb back in and leave? I thought not. When Gulf of Mexico explorers ventured deep below the sea, they may not have been expecting to get creeped out from what they found down there. The EV Nautilus was able to capture footage of a ghost shark, also called a chimera, near Granada in the Caribbean. Ghost sharks are rarely seen, as they're usually too deep, anywhere from 8,500 feet to around 650 feet. For marine communities to capture on film, and this particular ghost shark was even rarer, as it had an eerie smile and was riddled with parasites. To capture this amount of creepiness on video, underwater is quite a feat. A team member said, He looks like he's smiling. It's like a joker smile. Don't know about you, but I'd cringe to be on the receiving end of this smile. The Camino de la Mirte, or Road of Fate, lies in Bolivia along a 50-mile, rocky, narrow downhill road. The pass is so dangerous that the Inter-American Development Bank deemed it the most dangerous in the world in 1995. Somewhere between 200 to 300 people perish each year on this road. In this video, a bus driver attempts to traverse it to his own detriment. The road, which had recently suffered heavy rain, was prone to landslides, making the crossing even riskier business than usual. After ordering his passengers off the bus for safety's sake, they watch in terror as the driver attempts to creep across a very shaky and crumbling stretch of sand and rock, one that should not be crossed. The passengers attempt to help guide him, with one man in the video moving forward to motion that the driver move further away from the edge. It appears as if the bus will be successful in completing this crossing. But suddenly, the ground crumbles beneath it, and the bus tips, falling over the cliff, through the trees, and down the mountain. While it's fortunate that the 50 passengers survived their devastating journey, sadly, their driver did not. If you think you're safe in your own home, think again. Posted by Call Me Ace here to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the Redditor explains, This is a video of a random guy walking up to my brother's home in Houston, Texas. The stranger flashed their flashlight through my brother's front door window and camera. The video shows a man possibly casing the place. If that is what he's doing, he isn't taking many precautions, as he's not wearing a mask of any kind to hide his identity, nor does he take any notice at first of the security camera that's caught him red-handed. If he was trying to fly under the radar, he's doing a terrible job at it. Not only does he flash a flashlight directly into the potential target's home, but he looks squarely into the security camera, capturing his headshot straight on, right before shining the flashlight into the camera's face. Phase 2, Redditor Stark Burrito asks, Was he pointing the flashlight into the camera to obscure himself? Bit late, buddy. 
Other Redditors recommended that the homeowner alert other neighbors to the incident, as well as the neighborhood watch and local authorities. It might prevent the unknown person from taking this further. While you may not have to worry about those you know entering into your home, you should definitely worry about randos. An unnamed European castle is the subject of investigation on a ghost hunting YouTube channel called Paranormal Mystery. They are hastily setting up a CCTV system for the evening's investigation when they realize the battery is being drained from all of them really fast. But right before the cameras power down, they manage to capture this ghost on CCTV. A ghost walks by and dissipates before it reaches the last step. I don't know if this is computer editing, but the way it slowly shrinks and then goes away is more complex than a simple fade out shot. This video was taken in 2008, so the video quality is actually quite good and still holds up to this day. Their surprised reactions make me think this could be real. Is this the floating soul of a departed one? Published by Frankly2112 in October of 2008, a ghost hunting crew encountered a strange floating orb while wandering through a cemetery at night. The light glows brightly at the center of what appears to be a semi-transparent figure. Then again, the apparent figure could just be the extension of the light's rays. As the cameraman pans away and back again, the beam moves quickly out of frame and out of sight. YouTuber Price Paranormal writes, It almost seems elemental or interdimensional. Others note that the light seems to materialize there and that it appears like someone holding fire in their hand. What do you think this is? Are the spirits alive? in this graveyard. I'd be staying far away from this place. A YouTuber named Sean Durez decides to go ghost investigating with his friends at their studio office, which is apparently haunted. They meet up at 2 a.m. and are talking about what they should do next, when something in the next room over wrecks their plans. What, what actually what? was that? Approximately 10 seconds later, this sound fills the building. Listen to it and tell me if you think it's real or edited. Oh, Wait. Shh. Legit. By now, they are pretty much freaking out and ready to take off, but the spirit isn't quite through with them yet. You'll see absolutely nobody was nearby when this happens, which makes me think it could be real. All of the lights shut off before they get a chance to leave. One of them turns the camera light on just in time to see their friend blankly staring at them from the ground. I guess he could just be acting, and one of his friends pulled him by his feet, but that still doesn't explain this actual ghost sighting at the very end. Let's go! I think this could be real because the raw adrenaline sends his friend barreling straight through a door. When Joey Salvatore and his friends learn that their entire neighborhood is rumored to be haunted, they go to the local cemetery and try to get something on tape. They don't really find much and eventually come back home, but it looks like something found them and managed to attach itself to a friend named Roger. Now, he is standing motionless with his back to them in a dark room, and they are too freaked out to do anything more than secretly record his reflection in a mirror. After a while, he sits down and stops moving completely, so they decide to put Roger in his room and check on him later. Roger is nowhere to be found, at least not at first. Wait, turn the light on. <gasps> what the fuck? Roger! I'm the they are totally freaking out when Roger comes wandering back into the room completely fine, wondering what had happened. The group feels unsafe at this point and has no choice but to send Roger on his way. Eventually, Roger says that he was just playing a joke on them, but it's unclear if he really means it or if he is just in denial. The uploader of this video says that this sighting happened on the Barbados Islands. Sometime in 2017, a huge humanoid is stomping off in the horizon, its footsteps echoing throughout the tropical night scenery. Yeah. 
The creature appears to have four long limbs and a gigantic bushy upper body that is completely covered in some kind of fur or else some kind of plant growth, possibly leaves or mold. It lets out a huge bellowing roar as it makes its way across the island. In the unlikely case this is not CGI, then what you are witnessing is definitely a modern day giant or some sort, though its true origins may never be fully understood. A YouTuber named Outdoors Weekly is fishing with his little brother. When he gets a little too comfortable with his surroundings, it makes the mistake of letting his guard down. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh dude! Oh. He sees the snake at 2 minutes and 21 seconds and here is his raised foot approximately 1 second later at 2 minutes and 22 seconds, ready to come down. He was about to step right on it, no doubt about that, but I want to know how bad the bite would have been. Take a look at this reptile. Is this one you can identify? Thanks for the answer, if so. Earl Kirk Kendall captures a bright light in the sky, but it's not a meteor, lightning, or an unidentified flying device. It's his poor neighbor's house erupting. This video is terrifying because of how calm everything is before, during, and after. There's no warning signs beforehand, and seconds later, you'd never know a family's entire livelihood has gone up in flames. Even scarier, a cause for the incident has yet to be determined, meaning anyone in the neighborhood could be next. Mother deer aimlessly walks in circles while its young grazes nearby. You can tell that one of her fawn senses that something is deeply wrong with its mother at the 1 minute 23 second mark, but it can't tell exactly what the problem is. Judging from the deer's high steps and low grass, it seems to have some sort of neurological problem, most likely CWD. According to the uploader, the mother deer wandered over to a nearby creek and fell into the water. She was unable to lift her neck out of the shallow water and passed away. They have been leaving some corn for the fawn to survive on. Hopefully they do not get CWD as well. Isaac Brumig him feels a bite on his line and pulls up something larger than he ever imagined. Whoa! It looks like he hooked the shark, but when you watch it again, you'll see the shark was actually going after a much smaller fish. Isaac quickly unhooks and releases the fish before the shark has the chance for a second go. Isaac is so incredibly lucky that the line was behind him and not close to the kayak. Otherwise, this shark could have practically landed in his lap. This building is teeming with poltergeists and YouTuber Han Kardashler is about to face off with them. They throw the first punch as soon as he enters. And they don't let up. They continue as he moves around the building. But he doesn't leave until they become more aggressive. What do you think? Would you stick around in here? I think there aren't many worse places to be. A YouTuber named Shabir1000 caught a scary moment on camera that simply should not have happened, and then another scary moment during his live stream while trying to explain it. So he's telling us a story about something that happened to him late at night. And a uh, little story on that is, you know, I don't speak in the garage. The door nudges open with a gentle click. He almost notices it but is too involved in his story to really understand that the door, which was all the way shut, is now open a crack. And um, the other night when I was watching, I, I caught something on camera too that I'm going to put in here for you. And then uh, I'll narrate through uh, the camera itself when I show that footage. but. I Ironically, the more Shabir 1000 talks about what he saw on his CCTV system late at night, a sighting that he thinks could have been paranormal, mind you. The wider the door opens, his head is blocking the doorway, so it's hard to tell if a figure was standing there, but something is opening the door, and ghost or no ghost, it definitely was not him. 
He claims to have been alone the entire time, so I wanted to know if you believe him. Since almost all of his videos are about non-paranormal topics like do-it-yourself projects and flea market finds, I think this video is probably real. Oh, and if you're wondering about what he caught on CCTV late at night, here's the video and it's pretty creepy. What he thinks is a ghost orb floats clear across the screen, performs a lazy loop and then disappears. He doesn't think this is a bug because it materializes out of thin air, and if you look closely you can see other bugs fly by that look nothing like this orb. Like here at 2 minutes for instance. That's a bug, and this is something else. Anyway, he wasn't reading the chat at the time, and so he freaks out when they later tell him that a ghost opened his door. He tries to recreate it, and as part of this video shows, there really is no way to open the door without first turning the knob. Oh. And even though the door is made of lightweight material, it doesn't open any wider on its own. He steps on the other side of the door, where someone would have been standing and tries to push it open without turning the knob. No luck. And when he opens the door, it stays in the same position. Weird. Weird indeed. And unless someone has a better explanation, it's probably paranormal. A YouTube channel called Kiwi in Japan has the creepy encounter of a lifetime that leaves everyone screaming with fear and excitement in the kitchen. Oh, that is freaky. That is so scary. Oh, yuck. With a bowl in one hand and a piece of paper in the other, he hatches a plan to cover the spider and slip the paper underneath to contain it. It doesn't end well. You ready? Ah! Ah! Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. What is it? At 1 minute and 14 seconds, the spider literally jumps out of the way and almost lands on his arm. He's wearing no gloves and a short sleeve shirt when it happens, meaning he's completely vulnerable. Fortunately, it's more interested in finding shelter than battling back. It's fast enough to evade him three more times, but with legs that long, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After a final showdown in the closet, he apprehends the arachnid and sends it back on its way to nature with a final toss. I bet they're really glad to have gotten rid of it. I don't think I could still live someplace where I saw a spider take up a whole entire room of a corner before. At least not until it was taken out of the house. And I'm definitely not sure if I would have been brave enough to try and capture it. Talk about scary stuff. If you've seen the James Franco film 127 Hours, then you know the story of Aaron Ralston. Ralston was 26 when he ventured into southeast Utah's Blue John Canyon. On April 26, 2003, the climbing enthusiast was scaling down a slot canyon when a boulder he was standing on came loose and caught him between a rock and a hard place. Literally, his right hand was trapped between the boulder and the canyon wall. Ralston hadn't told anyone he was heading out to climb. So, with the knowledge that no search party would be scouring the canyon for him anytime soon, he knew he'd have a disturbing decision to make. But before he made the decision to cut off his arm, he made a video diary of what could have been his last days. The diary was meant as a final message to his family and friends, as Ralston was sure he was going to pass away there. Apart from a short clip of the video diary, none of the footage has been released. Ralston says it is a private video for himself and his family. However, the producer Zen Franco watched the footage to prepare for 127 hours. A transcript was written verbatim from his video diary. If you're squeamish, you probably wouldn't want to see the whole thing anyway. Then again, if you were squeamish, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. These paranormal investigators use a flashlight to communicate with their ghostly counterparts. Published by Mackie and Amanda in April of 2022, the pair explore the haunted Cosmopolitan Hotel in San Diego. The girls talk to the spirits in the hotel, requesting that they interact with this dangling string, and the spirits respond. Just touch that string one time. 
Did you definitely. see that? And if you're watching it, because I'm watching you hold the things completely still, I watched like how far it was going up against the line, yeah. you know? It definitely moved further. It, it looked like someone touched a string about a foot up. I don't understand. There's no way. either. Later, while sitting in bed, they hear repeated noises. They check to see if someone is walking outside on the balcony, but no one's there. Oh, God. Then the water starts to drip in the bathroom, and it continues to sound like someone is in their room. I think room 11 was the one that they... It sounds like someone's in here. They ask the spirits to turn the flashlight off and then back on. After asking the spirits to repeat this act, the flashlight turns off and the REM pod in the bathroom goes off as well. Can you turn the flashlight off? All the way completely off. The spirits continue communicating with the girls through the flashlight. They find out that they're speaking to a ghost named Isadora. She confirms it's her through the REM pod. Okay. Okay, wait. Isadora, if that's you, okay, I was going to say, can you go over to that REM pod we have in the bathroom? That, that red light. That red light that was just beeping. Can you make it start going off again? Can you make it start beeping? We'll give you like 15 seconds. <gasps> So she said yes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> the correspondence continues for a long while, with Isadora being very communicative. Mackie and Amanda return to talk to her later. You'd be like, no one's here. No one's here right now. I just gave it a minute. Isadora? 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 Wait, what is that? What's shaking? They check out early because they're understandably creeped out. It sounds like there's many unseen residents of this hotel and they're not leaving anytime soon. If you had a chance to visit a haunted hospital, would you? YouTubers Ogden Paranormal became this haunted hospital's reluctant patients when they stepped into Asylum 49. Published to YouTube in September of 2019, Ogden Paranormal wrote, The old 2L hospital is one of the most haunted places in Utah, if not the most haunted. This location was made famous by the Ghost Adventures crew, who have now visited twice due to the incredible evidence they captured the first go-around. Ogden has investigated this place several times, and this time they return to investigate who or what scared them out of the place years prior. A little background on the old 2L hospital as one of Utah's major paranormal sites. The underfunded hospital was without a morgue, leaving the passed away stacked and waiting for their paperwork. Patients have stuck around the place, showing themselves even to those retired folk who resided in and what remained of the building. It's said that sightings of ghost children often precede someone's passing. Others believe the child ghosts are actually demons, and they aren't the only spirits that appear there. A nurse in white roams the hallways, a man dressed in black appears at 3 a.m., and a little girl has been known to appear and then vanish. So who did Ogden Paranormal encounter during their investigation? Let's see firsthand. Granted, this asylum has been turned into a haunted house, so much of the creepiness you see in the video is set up to appear that way, but other things can't really be explained. About four minutes in, they head into the nursery, where a creepy old lady statue is posed. They are alone back here, or so they think. Look at the window to the left. Something passes beyond, creating a shadow figure in the frame. It moves out of frame once they come nearer, the old lady. Later on, two of the crew see a figure down one hallway. As they're slowly making their way down the hallway, a giggle is heard in one of the rooms. The room is empty apart from some freaky mannequins. Where you at, Wes? 
Later, while all gathered in a conference room, they hear footsteps. What's that? Have you not moved? No. You guys heard those footsteps over here, right? Yeah, I, I thought that was you, man. During their ghost box session, spirits are responding with frequency. One tells them good luck repeatedly. And one of the spirits brings up Skittles, which had been part of the conversation on a previous visit to the asylum. Little anomalies and disembodied breathing are also heard throughout the investigation. Makes you wonder, are there spirits here? Or are these mannequins about to come? A mysterious and creepy video of a seemingly haunted stuffed toy moving on its own has this woman so freaked out that she's probably going to cry. The woman is busy looking at her phone when the object moves towards her multiple times, stopping every time she glances up. Each time, its movements are so slight that she's not even sure if the object is really moving or not. At 3 minutes and 19 seconds, she grabs the stuffed toy and brings it near. But less than a minute later, the possessed toy flings itself across the bench and she runs away screaming. I want to say that this video is fake, but you can see the entire room. So if it was someone holding a string, I'm not sure where they would be standing. Two college students in Spring City, Pennsylvania decide to explore an abandoned asylum called the Penhurst State School and Hospital. They mostly find old rooms with floors covered in paint chips and other fallen debris. But a couple of strange things happen. First, tell me if you hear anything weird during this part. Some people say that they can hear a voice say the word mummy or something similar. I personally think that it's the sound of an old camera lens zooming in, but I'll let you decide. Anyway, they keep exploring and eventually go up a tall flight of winding stairs. Suddenly, the video cuts out and just 30 seconds later, somebody is holding the camera in the middle of the woods. Shortly before the video ends, many people have pointed out that this is not enough time to get back down the steps. So a big question about this video is what happened during the time lapse. Some people say that this was an art project, but if so, nobody has stepped forward as the creator, which is usually what happens once a video has gone viral. None of it adds up. A family watches television while one of them checks their phone in the dining room. No one is near the refrigerator and yet somehow this happens. On a different day, their motion-activated camera, which this family says does not turn on for dust, records this strange light for just a second and then nothing else for the rest of the night. Everything starts to become clear when this larger light floats into the driver's seat and then disappears. The family's grandmother passed away two years ago, and this is what she used to drive. All three videos, when combined with the recent passing, makes me think that their grandmother might be checking in on them, even from the afterlife. This video takes place somewhere in the South American country of Chile during the middle of a street race. A number of cars rush past and soon an animal randomly materializes without making so much as a sound. Watch again in slow motion, and it really does appear as though the dog steps out of an invisible portal. You can see its front half emerge first, followed by the torso and back legs. Then again, the blurred edges around the dog's body does look like it could be made through editing. I am not an expert in video editing though by any means, so let me know if you think this is real or CGI and how you could tell the difference. Isaiah Harris published his sewer exploration in March of 2018, describing it as the utter most scariest video that I've ever recorded yet. He went on to say, I think it was mostly because of the position I was in and how much ghostly things I heard and seen. The first clip shows Harris along with two young accomplices exploring the underground sewer during the daytime. They make their way along a tunnel to an area with pooled water, which has frozen over with ice. In a second video of the sewer exploration, Harris, joined this time by his brother and sister-in-law, shows how they entered the sewer by lifting up a big iron storm grate and crawling under. The tunnel is filled with graffiti, and they jump down from this initial tunnel to a broader area. 
A ladder is also positioned there, suggesting that this area is a regular stomping ground for exploration. They continue on, and Harris explains to his crew that there will soon be a ditch with shin deep water and there may be a den beyond, as he found evidence of people living there once before. The ditch area is filled with ice and a layer of snow over top. Harris jumps down, breaking through the ice. The other two decide to turn back because they think they've heard something in the tunnel. But that's when Harris looks deep into the tunnel beyond and decides that he too wants to hightail it out of there. After he claims to have seen something down there, they start to make their way back, but pause when they hear a growling sound. Harris also notes that there's a handprint on the wall as they arrive at the exit ladder. They also hear tapping sounds coming from within the tunnel. They manage to make it out of the tunnel without incident, but one does wonder whether the creature within was human or monster. This highly active haunted house is scaring YouTuber Dark Arts TV more than ever before. The place looks lived in. But then I kind of feel like this one's been living up here as well. But I don't think there is. I don't think there's anyone. I think it's just you know more close and stacked up. But yeah, it's definitely eerie, eerie, eerie place. They speak to the spirits that haunt the home through a spirit box. Was you, was you banging upstairs before? Something murder. Murder? Wow, it doesn't seem like a murder joint, is it? It sounds like it said something about ending a life, then the spirit gets kind of handsy. Do you just sort of sound? What, what, what? It felt like someone touched me again then. Really? Yeah. Mate, it felt like someone touched my, like, my neck. No way. Mate, I'm What the f***? Mate. Then it really freaks them out. What, what the f*** was that, bro? Mate. <gasps> Rimpo, what's going on? Mate, did you hear that? It was like, this is mine. Yeah, bro. This is mine. Like, it was like he was building up there and then he moved. <laughs> did you not feel anything? It continues to touch them. Mate, no, no, oh my god. Who keeps trying to hold their hands, although I think it may be a ghost, whatever it is seems to be getting more aggressive. Two friends are riding down the Karela Highway in India when they see what they later agree has to have been a ghost of some kind. <laughs> The figure is dressed in pure white and holding something, maybe a flashlight. Creepiest of all is how they seem to be deeply staring into the darkness at something. They are in such a deep state of concentration that they don't even look up when the car zooms by just a few feet away. They remain frozen in place and seem to be holding their face in surprise. If this is a ghost, then they could have been looking at the roadside remains of their own body. A YouTuber named Adam the Woo is checking out an old abandoned barbecue restaurant in the middle of the California desert and picks up strange occurrences that are possibly supernatural. There are a lot of moments in this video that sound like voices far away, saying words too quietly to understand, like here for example. There's also a lot of electrical disturbances that happen for pretty much no reason. At one point, Adam calls out into what should be an otherwise empty room and gets the faintest of replies. Hello? Listen again and tell me if you hear it. A lot of people think that this was a female voice saying hello, but it sounds too far away to tell for sure. Perhaps most unsettling of all, however, is what could be a pair of feet in the stall of this busted out bathroom. A YouTube channel called Proper Good Games is streaming Pokemon when a game goes flying across the room off camera. I thought when people ate quail, it was like eating a fancy. <laughs> <laughs> they are both looking at each other and not moving at all when it happens, so it could not have been them. Then what she says next makes me feel like this happens all the time. Do you believe her? I'm not 
lying when I say ghost follow me around, right? And when he goes to pick up the game, he lets out a gasp as the temperature into this part of the room suddenly grows very cold. Again, is this real or just good acting? It's really cold, but it's chill. It actually is. A man named John Crawford casually walks around a Walmart in Beaver Creek, Ohio, well armed. Here you can see him standing in an aisle on the right side of the screen. Gun in the store. Did he got it pulled out? Yeah, he's like pointing at people. What did he look like? The 911 caller grows more nervous with each passing moment and tells the operator that the situation is growing dire. I don't know what he's doing. He's just like looking around, waving it. He looks like he's just trying to load it. He's just trying to load it? Yeah. Confirmed. Soon a family of three walks down the same aisle as John Crawford and starts checking out some animals for sale. This is where the 911 call gets kind of strange. My name is Ronald Ritchie. He just pointed at like two children. Okay. Watch the video again and you'll see that John never really aims at the kids. In fact, the family barely reacts to his presence, and I'm not sure if they even notice him at all. One of them hangs around a bit longer before leaving, so I wouldn't say they were exactly in distress. But the way the 911 caller describes the man and his actions, understandably has the police on edge. An officer arrives on the scene expecting trouble, and a brief altercation ensues. The surprised suspect is laid to rest on the spot after police thought he was going to attack. As it turns out, John Crawford was simply buying an airsoft at Walmart on that day. The person who called 911 did not get in any trouble, but many now agree he was overreacting. Let me know if you would have called the police based on what you've seen on this CCTV video. Time to break out the sage again. Posted to TikTok by Ratliff Wife, this ring security footage was captured at around 9.30 p.m. in March of 2022. The video shows the front porch of a home. After a moment, a dark shadow moves across the camera. The shadow reappears several times over the course of a minute. Several bugs appear in the clip, but they are clear. Nothing looks like this shadow. The uploader says their dog was also growling in the room at the time this video was captured. Did it sense something? Some in the comments think so, with Carolyn Mulhall writing, Pets know. Better start praying. And it's true that many people swear that pets seem to have an easier time seeing the paranormal than humans. Does this sink need a plumber or a priest? Watch this video and tell me if this paranormal activity is real or just a creepy plumbing problem. There's no motion sensor on this sink, and yet the water somehow turns off on its own, like someone is standing right there. I want to know if this workplace bathroom is as haunted as Tom Cunnington claims. I did some research online, and it looks like it might just need a valve replacement, but I was hoping someone with plumbing experience could tell me if this was the case. If so, hopefully we can put Tom's mind at ease, because I think these scary moments caught on camera have been really freaking him out. These YouTubers are about to come face to face with a situation none of us would want to deal while out on the water. Hey! The boat would have practically cleaved him in half had he not paddled away at the last second. And as the other boat passes, you can see one person is facing the wrong way and the other is absentmindedly holding a fishing rod. Nobody is guiding the engine like they should have been. Everything is okay in the end, but like the YouTuber says, he wouldn't operate a car without looking where you're going, so you shouldn't drive a boat like that either. Let this be a lesson to look where you're going on the water. And if you're in a small paddle boat like he was, always be sure to look up when you hear an approaching engine. Lord British LP is standing on his porch as a big storm rips through his neighborhood. His internet is down so he records a video about nothing in particular to help pass the time. That's when he temporarily goes blind. <laughs> A bolt of lightning hits the street lamp in front of his house and fills his vision with whiteness. 
He runs cursing into his house to get away. It's easy to miss, so I circled the street lamp that was struck by lightning to give you a better look at just how close he came to being literal toast. Maxime is on a mission to communicate with the spirits in this house. Published by Realized Alterna in April of 2022 and originally published by YouTuber Paranormal Point, this ghost hunter may have made contact with the fiery depths below. As he begins his session at night, something begins to play the piano. A doll is mentioned through the spirit box, and outside this window he sees creepy glowing eyes. When he asks about the doll, he is simply told to find her, and find her he does. He asks what the doll's name is and receives a scary answer. He is told to do a ritual with the doll. As he's told it's dangerous here, he hears strange screams. He later lights the doll ablaze as part of the ritual. As he does, it raises its arm by itself. Is there anything more terrifying than this? Here's hoping the demon was exercised. Carter is making a YouTube video to show off his expensive new roof but he accidentally catches something lurking inside his home during the process. That's right, new roof. Shingles were delivered today. Old roof was torn off yesterday. New roof will be put on tomorrow. 6, a giant oversized face is staring directly at Carter. Through his own window on the left hand side, you can see its eyes, mouth and nose have been shaded perfectly to form a ghoulish expression. I've watched this video many times and I still can't tell if this is truly the face of a ghastly creature or just a reflection of trees outside. If it is a reflection of a tree, then I find it weird how the leaves or branches don't seem to be moving at all. It really does look like an unblinking face staring straight ahead. Carter does not seem to notice and continues filming for quite some time. What happens when you find a GoPro with found footage? More Bad Ideas published this video of his findings in July of 2017. The video starts with a YouTuber mounting a motorbike that he's going to take for a spin. After about 10 minutes of riding footage, cut to the footage on this GoPro he discovered. When he opens the GoPro, a piece of paper falls out. It reads GORB56546434, a password. He plugs this password in and he finds his nightmares on video. First shown is a masked being, creepy as ever. Next is this mannequin-like figure moving sporadically towards the camera, with creepy carnival music playing in the background. The next is a young man holding a skull, talking about how you have to make sure it's the real thing in order for someone to pay good money for it. Then back to the masked being. This is when the YouTuber shuts the video down and wipes the memory card clean. Many in the comments think this video is cursed. Do you feel differently after watching it? This grainy video, taken in a dark room just outside of the kitchen, shows a children's toy suddenly glide forward on its own without warning. The quality of the video is not very good, but then again it was taken in 2010 and seems about right for camera phones of that time. As for why the camera was set up in that spot to begin with, I'm not sure. Maybe they have been experiencing paranormal activity in this area of the house and wanted to record it for proof. Either way, there's still enough light spilling in from the kitchen to show a string on the ground if there was one. I can't see one. 
and therefore I think there is a strong possibility that this video could be absolutely real. Presley of Meet the Presleys apparently has caught a ghost on camera who is trying a little too hard to better know her and her family. It's past midnight when her son Josh turns off the lights. A ghost orb appears in the middle of the video at 2 minutes and 8 seconds and then again briefly at 2 minutes and 13 seconds. When he crosses the room on his phone, the orb moves away from him. I think this light is from the screen of his phone. His mom, on the other hand, is creeped out beyond belief and pretty worried. Overall, I'm not sure if this video is paranormal or not and need your help to decide. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.